In this video, we're going to show you how to create your auto rotation planner. So on the left hand side, scroll down, click, and then over to the green tab here, add new auto rotation planner. So here you select the name. Now I already have one of that name, so I could just go and call it three. Here you select the farm area you want to include. If you click on this tab here, you can see all your paddocks. So if you wish to include all of them, make sure they're all ticked. If you don't want to include, let's say these first two paddocks, confirm. And then you see your area has changed. And if you want to go back in and include them, the simple rule here now for selecting your date is on dry farms. Closing would normally start on the 10th of October and you're aiming to have 60% of the farm grazed by the first week in November and the remaining 40% to be grazed by the 1st of December. Uh, whereas on heavy or slow grass growing farms, normally start closing by the 1st of October, it can be earlier. Um, where you're aiming to have 60% of the farm grazed by 20 of October and remaining 40% grazed by mid to November. Um, this instance here, I'm going to go with the 2nd of October and then set my interim date as the 16th. And the guide here is to always go on the same day of the week here, so please use full weeks between the dates. So I'm going to on a, start on a Monday, my interim date is on a Monday, and I want to have 60% of farm grades by the interim date and then my housing date again on a Monday 20th. If you want to enter notes here you can but it's not necessary and then you save. And here your chart is then produced and because I don't have any covers entered it's just showing me my target area to be grazed so this red line here over the weeks so you can see from the beginning of October right through to the end of November, mid November, end of November. Um, if the actual covers were in on the farm they would appear here uh, as a blue line and as you're entering your covers then the green dots will appear and they should be in line with the target. Just explain that the green line is the actual area to be grazed that will be grazed. And then if we scroll down here you'll see the information that you've already entered. It's all appears here and again it's showing you how much of the farm, 60% of the farm to be grazed in 14 days and the area and 40%, 34 days and the area again. You can also print off your auto rotation planner. Simply go up to the top of your page and export it to Excel or to PDF. Then we'll ask you to save it. So I'm going to save. And it's dropped down here to the bottom left hand corner. And if you got it to open. And there's your report. So here is an example of a, a plan, an auto rotation plan that's actually in operation at the moment. Um, this one was starting the 25th of September. Just have a look down and see and their interim period is 17th of October and their housing date is the 12th of November. So we'll see for the first week of September the target was 19% and the following week was 38. So the red line represents those figures 19 and 38 and the green line represents the actual. So you can see they were above the target the first week but now they're more or less coming now again in line with the target. So by the interim, they need to have 60%. So it's about 17th of October. They'd have about 60% grazed. And then along here is where the actual farm covers have been recorded. And ideally here, you should be aiming for a closing grass cover of an average of 600 to 650 kgs at the date of housing your animals.